Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in Zudesia Zoo for once! We are actually in the zoo. We are actually at the foot of the beautiful, beautiful slopes of the Arctic Zone. Right under the perhaps somewhat more questionable on the beauty zone of the mushroom uh, island where the mushrooms roam. And uh, we're getting ready to get my goat. Quite literally, because it is time to go and see Graveler! Graveler, how are you doing, my dear? I hope you are ready to feast because I have a lot of food for you. For one, an entire pile of gravel, which you literally just slurped down like it was spaghetti. That was quite impressive. Uh, I also have more cobblestone, more gravel, more gravel. Wait a second. Graveler, get that gravel back! Oh no, I just remembered. I think I can actually use the gravel. Um, can I use the gravel? What the heck does it make? A gravel drink? You can actually make a gravel drink with a tea maker and gravel? Oh my gosh. I guess is that for if you're having a really hard morning and you need like something stronger than tea, I guess? Um, but I can also get flint from gravel. I can turn it into white stone or black stone gravel. But I'm pretty sure I can actually put gravel into, wow, a casting basin with some molten tin to get rough brown stone, which you run faster on. Oh my gosh, that's so many things, Graveler. And actually, since you're here and since we keep finding so much of the gravel, also known as downward quicksand, if you ask me, I think we can actually use the gravel in a sifter in order to search. Yeah, there's the sifter. I think I need to make a sifter really quick, Graveler. That's gonna be our project for right now. I have more of other stuff I can feed you, like all of this cobblestone, but I think I need to stop in the andesite, which I never really like to do anything with anyway. So there you go, Graveler. Uh, and honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that marble block, so eat up. Oh my gosh, this goat, she eats anything. I hope she doesn't eat me. <laughs> But I totally, totally forgot about that. We are trying to save up. Let's see if I can find them. There they are. A whole bunch of these fossils to restore the supply of fossils that unfortunately turned to dust inside of my labyrinth. Quite the tragedy. Who knows how many tiny triceratops we could have had running around the prehistoric section of the zoo if only they hadn't turned to dust. Uh, so... We're going to go ahead and try to gather up fossils. I should probably tuck these away so Graveler doesn't eat them, for one thing. Uh, and I think you can actually sift the gravel along with the sand and maybe dirt. I'm not sure if you can sift the gravel, but I know you can sift the dirt and the sand for sure uh, in order to get more fossil pieces. So I can't remember if you can do that or not, but it might be worth trying to build a sifter and have it nearby just in case. I also don't use the diorite, so you can eat that graveler. Um, it might be worth it to build it, maybe. But now that I think about it, I don't think you can actually... Graveler, can you... Okay. You know what? I'm too curious. We have to see... Graveler! Oh no! <laughs> I, I was like, I'm too curious. We'll have to actually go ahead and make a sifter. To make a sifter, I would need iron. To make iron, easy peasy. I've got some stuff that makes iron. I just have to stick it into a smelter. To make a smelter, wait a second. I need cobblestone and I just fed all the cobblestone. Can I, can, can you just be a cobblestone in your like little, little smelter in your stomach, Graveler? Uh, all right, well, let's see if I can actually get enough. Let's come over. Maybe if I move quickly. There we go, that should be enough to get a little furnace. I can't believe I actually needed cobblestone for something. That's kind of surreal. But this shouldn't take too long because we have like iron ore right here. And I can put it here. I have some coal right here. Man, it feels so rewarding just to be able to use. I mean, they have the taconite, which is like poor man's iron ore. But it really feels so rewarding just to be able to use your own skills to make things happen. Like, I want to make a sifter. So why don't I go ahead, let's see, recipe, let's see, I need to make, I want to use this to make, oh geez, shaped crafting, <laughs> to make iron, 
fencing? Is that what it is? A bunch of pet beds. Oh my gosh, you need iron for everything. Wow. But yeah, it does feel really amazing and it actually builds my confidence a lot to just sort of slow down and spend a little bit of time using my own two hands to really create things like seed storage. <gasps> that sounds amazing. I wanna make seed storage chambers. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to look into that. This is so cool. There's so many more things than I expected. Um, let's see. Typewriters, which I don't think you can really use for anything, but those would be kind of cool. Amethyst from, I'm gonna have to figure out where to get that amethyst. Huh. <gasps> I could make some hanging bamboo plants right now if I wanted to, and I kind of want to. We could decorate in here. We could decorate in here with, oh, imagine all the hanging plants. <gasps> we could make like a hanging garden of Babylon. Oh my gosh, except it would just be like the hanging garden of, bah. <laughs> okay, that would be kind of cool. Uh, all right, but Sifter, let's go ahead and look at you a little bit more directly. Iron bars, recipe. We're gonna need a lot of iron for that. I think I can make it. Let's go ahead and combine all this. Okay, we have three pieces of iron. Fluorite, chlorite, bauxite. Uh, ironically, I think, uh, do you get it? Ironically, ironically. Oh, calonite dust makes a porcelain body, makes a porcelain block. Makes porcelain stairs? That escalated quickly. I can make porcelain? Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful and so cool. I had no idea. This is just like so exciting. This is a journey into all sorts of levels of discovery. What about this chlorite? Okay, the chlorite I think is another form of kind of like the poor man's iron. Can I do that? Okay, I think I have to actually smash it and get the stuff out of it first. Okay, I'll be right back, Graveler. I don't even remember what I'm doing now, but we have escalated things immensely. Okay, can't do that, interesting. Uses for chlorite. Literally just to extract? So I can't get anything out of it? Huh. Well, that's not really useful to me. Hey, Graveler. Here's a snack, since I can't figure out how to use it properly. All right, let's see, what else do I have? Anything else that can bauxite? Yes. Bauxite can, I think bauxite can make more of, bauxite, do you turn into iron? See, we've been harvesting up all of these things, so I might as well figure out what we can do with them. Okay, so apparently bauxite, you can't really turn into iron. If I put jaslum seeds, on top of soil and have bauxite below. Apparently it will produce aluminum nuggets though. This is far more complex than I thought. And if we put bauxite into a smelter, it will give us aluminum. Wow, this is really going places I didn't expect, but at least I'm learning something about all these. Then we have peat coal. Okay, it appears I cannot sift gravel at the moment. That is kind of the bottom line that all of this this random poking around has deduced. Let's make a couple more chests. One, two, to kind of store in here and put the cool stuff that I wanna keep in here. Slowly but surely expanding my secret hideaway uh, with a goat that actually cleans up after me perfectly. That's so cool. Uh, all right, everything I don't want her to eat goes in here. Cobblestone she can eat again. Salt, flint, uh, the granite she can go ahead and eat. Not this, there we go. And then I have decided that I'm just gonna keep the chocobo feathers for now, since I've been given so many of them. All right, let's clear all of this out of the way. We just have so much stuff all of the time. My pockets are always like triple overflowing with just stuff. And I never really know what to do with all of it. Uh, whoops, Moon Room Queen, you stay with me. Iron, you can go over here. Graveler, here, you know what? Since I can't do anything with the gravel for now, you go ahead and eat it, my dear. All right, good, good. That's pretty clear. And I do want to start using some torches instead of the Moonworm Queen for just a little bit. Where's my Moonworm Queen? Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, oh, I put her in there. 
Okay, let's put the, the Moon Room Queen away. And I think I'll use my torches up for now. Because we're going to do a lot more terraforming of the area than I thought. Oh, hey, I have some iron in here. Nice. I don't think that's enough. Because I think I needed nine iron in order to make the... That makes an iron door. Interesting, but not quite relevant to my needs. Okay, geez. Oh, I have so many eggs and tomatoes and wild rice in here and angry sheep poop. Ah, oh, Siri. You have the weirdest things shoved into your inventory. Oh, hey, but here's some more iron. Jeez. This is why you should clean your pockets. I, I do puppy bathing days now and then, but I guess I should have, like, Siri pocket day. Uh, all right. How do I recipe? Recipe. Oh, I only needed six of them after all. I am definitely a goose. All right. Recipe. And then let's go ahead and put the iron bar here. Because why not make a couple sifters and just have some sifters going with whatever dirt I end up digging up. Or if it does do gravel, that would be really cool too. So now I just need some string. All right. We're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, go on a little adventure. Because we are the self-efficient type around here, my friends. Easily distracted, but it's all part of the journey. I mean, look at this. We've got lemongrass and, and a happy goat. The lemongrass is to help her breath after she eats all that gravel, just so you know. Uh, we've got a lovely rainy day. And we have a cave system that we can explore, Pine and Iris. I'm sure there's going to be some perfectly safe and easy to access, and I totally should have brought my steel leaf armor uh, string in there if I don't happen to have a bunch of string on me, which it appears I do not. So, all right, guys, we will be continuing our dig up to the Arctic level, but I'm very curious to see what could happen in terms of gathering that precious dinosaur DNA if we had just a few sifters hanging out where we are storing our supplies. So let's see if we can find some string kind of on the fly, huh? Huh? Or maybe like a fly on the string even? Ho -ho. By coming into the big cave system down here. Hmm. There's some pretty vines. <gasps> I should decorate the inside of this place with vines. That would be so much fun, puppies. All right. And let's go ahead. Maybe a little more light. I've definitely been here before. Because there's a few torches. <gasps> string! Yes! All right. See, I knew we would run into some string. Not a problem. I just need like three pieces. Okay, that's a really beautiful stalactite holding tight to the ceiling. And that's actually one of the first lessons I ever gave you guys as a pixel biologist. Oh, good. More string over here. One day we can make up for taking all of the string by maybe getting uh, a domesticated species of did you guys pick up my other string? This is string number two. Where's string number one? It's not like string is easy to get around here, you know, puppers. Where are you guys leading me? This is pretty, but where are we going? To more string? Where are we going? I definitely did some digging down here. Probably out of my own curiosity. All right, Iris. Did you take my string? I needed that for my sifter. That I am completely distracted, but having a good time trying to make. Iris, I think you've been cuddling with the chocobo. I rescind my accusation that you took my string. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's been cuddling with the chocobo. And here are some fossils. I guess for now we should just gather pretty much all the fossils on our property. Because we're going to need them. <gasps> and look at this glorious... Oh, what is that? That is so cool! It's a little compy claw! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Oh, that's so exciting! I want more! More! Alright, what else do we have here? Wow, there's so many fossil pieces! And look at these pretty things! What even? What is this? What is this? Rhodite ore. Oh, there's so many beautiful things. This is so cool. Okay, watch out, Pine. Uh, we're gonna dig here. I really want these. The tiger eye ore. <gasps> wow! Look at the 
beautiful block it can become. That is so amazing. Or you could turn it through the stone prospector. <gasps> Maybe I should actually go ahead and make a stone prospector because that would be absolutely amazing. To stick in with the sifter. So we could be making gemstones while we're doing this. <gasps> Look at the tiger eye gem. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and gather these up. Okay, unfortunately not much there. Jeez, that was cool. Not string, but very cool. It definitely got me excited. Oh, there's a lot of fossils over here too. This is not really a fossil finding day. This is kind of like the gifts of gravel day. And we're gonna see if gravel has any gifts to offer. Um, gosh, but you know, while we're down here, oh wow, orberry bushes. Oh, I've been trying to be really good at leaving oreberry bushes to grow in their native environment though, because they are just so beautiful in, in the natural setting of our Zoodesia Zoo. I guess in my head, I always picture coming back to these places and smoothing out the paths and making everything safe to walk through and then inviting people to come and see the natural beauty of my caves. Hmm, this is definitely a wall of gravel. So that's why I don't tend to get too many things from it. Uh, ooh, and that's more fossils right up here. All right, let's go ahead. Fossil finder, 3000. Thank you. Hmm, but again, not string. So that's interesting. I, I kind of wonder, okay, Iris, you're just full of feathers, ironically. Uh, and Pine, you don't have any string. You just have the creepy corpses as usual. Huh. So that makes me wonder about like where to collect string. Flax. Wool! Why didn't I think about that? Mountain sheep! We need to get to the mountain sheep. Maybe the mountain sheep will give me string. I think I can make that happen. All right, that'll be a really easy peasy way to get some string and just get to the bottom of this and at least have a sifter for all the other stuff, even if gravel doesn't work, which I don't think it does. All right, puppers, here you go. Astra seed, we need to go see the mountain sheep. All right, let's fly through the snow right here. Thankfully, we do not have far to go. Mountain sheep, may I please? Thank you. Nice, see, I knew having a bunch of wild mountain sheep around was totally a useful idea. Uh, all right, does that become, yes, yeah, string, much better. All right, we're one step closer to the gifts of gravel now, Graveler. So let's step over here. And we can actually make a lot more sifters than I originally thought to. So I think we, yeah, we can actually make four sifters now. Yes, which is gonna be so useful for searching for more fossils. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, I need to make room for this now. See, look at this. Graveler is having her little like treasure chest expand. Let's see. Whoops, okay, Graveler, we went too far. No, don't escape. <laughs> Graveler, no, don't escape. Go loose, go loose. Junior won't forgive me if she wanders into lava. Okay, poof, okay, I got her. All right, note to self, don't go that far. But we can probably come over here and one, two, three, whoops, four, and you take gravel. It does! Oh my gosh, the gifts of gravel after all! Yes! Okay, I never thought I would be excited about gravel. It's like one of my least favorite things, but I think I am about to, to learn that I should not judge something by its surface, but perhaps by the microscopic amounts of hopefully something cool that could be inside. All right, there you go, Graveler. That's awesome. And also why I'm over here. Okay, nobody tell the Poomroom Queen that I just smushed one of her children. That was 100% not my goal. I was going to say, while I'm over here, let me make a happy little tree for the happy little moonworm baby. Instead, I crushed it. It was a tragic accident. We're gonna be really quiet about that, okay? Everybody, everybody's gonna be quiet about that. No need to tell the moonworm queen. 
And it turns out I don't have any more plain oak trees anyway, which is what I was going to use. Yes, I do. There we go. Okay. Uh, no pun intended because it's oak. Time now is not the time for puns, Siri. You just smushed a baby moonworm. It is a little bit of a sad time. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to really think through my actions. Um, I'm not sure how I feel right now. But there we go, a little oak leaf. <laughs> But I will reflect upon my my behavior, <laughs> endeavor to do better, and I just thought it would be kind of cute and very me-esque to have little tiny trees with the moonworms lighting up our territories. Moonworm Queen, thank you for your child that I will definitely take very good care of, who is lighting up the the beauty of the leaves there. And Moonworm Queen, let's put you in a safer a safer backpack. There we go. Um. <laughs> Hi, little guy. I'm gonna be really careful with you. <laughs> but look at this! Potatoes, plant fossils, bone meal, and sand. Oh my gosh, and ancient fern spores. <gasps> okay, this was totally, totally worth doing. So my friends, it turns out there is a reason to have gravel. My little secret base in here is slowly expanding. I really should add more like nice smelling herbs, I think, so that Graveler has other herbs to eat to make the goat breath smell a little better while she's chewing on all of these rocks. Uh, but I love this. It just feels totally natural and kind of like being, here you go, Graveler. A little bit of a snack and kind of like, being back at home. So, one step after another, I think we're getting there, guys. Even if I tend to take journeys and go directions that I wasn't quite anticipating, it's a great time. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that you have enjoyed our little misadventure. Look, we've come out stronger for knowledge, for wonderful gravel things, and the beginnings of really making a cute little research chamber, which I need dozens of, like some sort of little little pack rat. That's definitely me, pack rat Siri chambers. Maybe I should just call them like my little... I don't know, my, my little rat houses? That doesn't quite have the connotation of cuteness I'm going for, but I'm trying here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the baby moonworms or, you know, graveler's breath. And if you would like to become a Zudesia citizen, then do please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Stay curious!